Hi everybody. So let's have a look at the first stitch, the original stitch. This is the straight stitch. When you do a lot of them together like that, I think of it as the running stitch. This single stitch does so much and I use it quite a lot in my artworks. It was the stitch that uh, the sewing machine uh, started to copy. It was the stitch that seamstresses originally used when sewing your clothes. But it is also a beautiful stitch to use in your stitch arsenal, your toolbox of stitches. So let's start here. We'll have a look at a stitch. It is up from the bottom and down again. And that is it. A very, very simple stitch. There we go. So, of course it's straight. Any, uh, any time you go from A to B, you know, like that, it, it really has to be straight. So, it is a straight stitch. But we can do a run of them, like I said, and here it is here. We just do stitches of varying lengths. You can do them all the same length. You can do a long one and then a short one. You can do it in tapestry yards. You can do it in wools. You can do it in different thicknesses of stranded cotton, and you'll have different effects. It can be used for many things. Let's just have a little look. So here we're just going to experiment a little bit with the plain old running stitch and see where it leads us. Here's a close-up look. I'm using two threads here. I quite often find it easier to turn the work rather than go backwards on yourself and be all uncomfortable. Just turn the work that you're on. I'm a right-hander so I like to work from right to left or down to up whatever is comfortable for yourself so I turn it and then when I go back the other way I'll turn it again so look I'm experimenting here with some long and some short stitches side by side what could it be well how about a fence or a layers in a uh, paddock you know maybe the crops have been uh, turned and that's the furrows in so many things it could be so looking at it there you can see I've done virtually straight lines I'm not really into straight lines if I was I would draw it first and then do it because I wouldn't trust myself here we are using the straight stitch but in an arc so therefore that straight stitch is used in a curve now I could do so many things with that, but I decide here that I might just go back and use single stitches and cross over and I'll make a strange little cross. So whilst you're watching me do a few crosses, Let's just finish this little section by saying, what else could we do? The seed stitch was a stitch. A long stitch is the stitch. You might do some grasses like that. You might do a line of palings that make a fence disappearing into the distance. You might do a lot of things. Well, here we can see running stitch or straight stitch um, being used in a previous tutorial I did on YouTube. And this is about an estuary that I saw on a morning walk, uh, a river with a very peaceful kind of feel to it. And strips have been laid down and simply stitched down and across 
with the running stitch. You can see I've turned it again to make it easy for myself to go back the other way. But really, that's it. I'm just tacking things down at the same time as I'm making marks with lovely colours. And it all works together as a whole. So bring on the running stitch. Okay. Well, here's something I've done previously, which I really like. And it is entirely running stitch. You might be able to see here. There we are. That I've appliqued on some shapes of materials. And I've just done some running stitch. I've let it lead off the edge. And I've also used it to applique these shapes down. Applique just means joining one piece of material to another so this is how I've done it in this instance can you see how that's a bit of rubbish can you see how it has extended the picture I like it because I think it looks like roads and it just you know here at the bottom that's to me that's sort of like water almost it's turned it what was a very simple thing into something really quite pretty okay so one thing I've been experimenting a little bit with lately it's ended up a little bit fuzzy but is needle felting onto cloth but you know it is it is fuzzy and I'm sort of thinking well maybe it needs a little bit of definition so I'm going to attempt this we'll see how we go I'm just going to do some stitches some running stitch and see if that helps to put outline things make it give it some sort of feeling it also is almost um, indenting it what are we doing quilting it yeah so as you can see I have sped this up a little bit I'm finding it very hard for you to pick up that green colour and pretty soon we're going to change to a different colour so that you get a better idea. Oh yes, and how we were looking at this one before, I was thinking this is another very good one that we could do a line off to the side, have that water flowing through the design and out the edges. That would really make it nice. So that's what we're doing now. We're using a thicker thread. This is a yarn. It's blue. It has a little sparkle to it. It's certainly showing up a whole lot better. It's defining those shapes. And at the same time, we're, we're just marking lines in that lake, in that river. Maybe the current going past those lilies and out the side. So as you can see, not only do, do I use it for defining shapes, possibly quilting, but also as movement. So you use it a lot. I mean, it's all uh, Boro and uh, Shashiko and slow stitching it's making a real uh, resurgence visible mending but you might think of it as like the stitch that you did maybe when you were in school and they were teaching you So effective.
Yep, I like it. It added definition. It pulled this shape right out. Very good. Here's one that is the C that I've used all kinds of novelty yarns and I've used a very large eye needle and I'm just pulling it through the hessian just lines and it has created waves and the currents uh, just what I think of as a really nice sea now I have done a whole series of these slow stitch kits but what I wanted to show you was the use of the running stitch now let's have a closer look okay I've got a little bit of seed stitching down below that we covered last time but look at the running stitch it's colored it's colored it in it's suggested things it's applicated down quite like what it's done and here's another this one I call blue butterflies and it has been very very popular but look how simple it is apart from a little bit of seed stitch and a few little French knots which we will cover later it really is just that straight running stitch and it looks very effective yeah. so I do hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the things I have done with running stitch I hope you are experimenting as well as you can see I use it quite a lot for such a simple stitch it really does say quite a lot so thank you for watching if you like this video please do press like if you want to subscribe and see more videos like this in the future press subscribe my name is Tracy Campbell and I can be contacted or found in any of the links below thank you for watching